Hey guys, what's up? Welcome. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a Ulta Beauty Advent Calendar unboxing. Really excited about this one. So this babe right here, um, you can see my ring light in the mirror, but this babe right here retails for $30. I'll have a link down below in the description box if you guys want to purchase it for yourself. To date, I've already done the NYX Advent Calendar. Charlotte Tilbury is on the way and Huda Beauty just released hers on her site recently as well. So I'll have that linked down below if you guys want to purchase that. It is Advent Calendar season. I feel like lately a lot of them definitely kind of suck. So just saying hopefully this one doesn't necessarily now i'm not gonna sit here and act surprised because with what's inside here because obviously everything is up front and center and it's not like oh my gosh hey this is included like i didn't know because don't lie yes you did so i'm gonna share with you guys all the goods that are included in here hopefully it is worth it also did have amazing advent calendars the past two years so i would say this compared to those honestly i don't think it compares because this doesn't have a ton of makeup i would say it's mostly like skincare or hair care and a little bit of makeup the other ones were mainly makeup so maybe they'll release another one for this year but all right we're gonna pop this open sorry <laughs> All right, here is what we're working with. We have 12 days of goodness. This might be awkward, this box is huge, but day number one is right over here. I'm gonna pop this open and see what's on. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that's included in here is the Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover. So you could use this for the eyelids, you could use this for the face. I like this, I just prefer makeup cleansing balms. You know what I mean? The type where it looks like a bomb, you kind of rub it in your hands and then you apply it all over the face. I feel like it's faster, makes my face feel great. With this, I feel like it's a little bit more of a tedious process, but it still works. It's nice if you want to take this on like one of those cotton pads, apply it on the eye and then swipe the shadow off. It does work out really, really nicely if you haven't tried it. It's a good product, I would say. Alrighty, moving on to day number Dose. Number two is over here on this side. I kind of like that the numbers are like spread out and they're not like in order. It almost makes the whole scavenger hunt even more exciting. You know what I'm saying? I love that. Okay, so this right here is from Estee Lauder. It's just a small little size. Um, it's the Advanced Night Repair, which is basically, I believe, their like serum, their take on a serum. So I've gone through a few of these in the past. I never necessarily owned a full size, but it's so beautiful on the skin. I feel like it almost like rewinds time and makes like, at least for my face, it makes me look like I'm 10 years younger. It really is a great product. It's like, like I said, I've gone through a few of these little ones. It's like, why don't you just purchase the full size? I feel like I have a decent amount of skincare that I definitely want to go through, but this is definitely a great product if you've been wanting it, if you were curious about it. I feel like it would work out for oily and or dry skin. I think it's amazing. Day number three is on this side. Here we have the Pita Thomas Roth. We have to throw that accent in there. Cucumber gel mask. This is an extreme detox hydrator. It refreshes, it cools, it moisturizes, it helps soothe dry skin. So great if you do have dry skin. I do have dry skin um, and I really do enjoy this product. I feel like it definitely um, adds a nice amount of hydration to the skin. It's just, it helps with texture I find. I haven't used a Peter Thomas Roth mask in a bit now, so I'll probably put this to good use soon. You also need a little bit and it goes a very long way. Doesn't necessarily even have like a scent to it, but really great product, solid brand. And if you've never tried it and you do have dry skin, I think this might be a winner for you. Four, yeah. Number four is up here. So here we have this goodie here from the brand Kinship. This is the Self Reflect Probiotic Moisturizing Sunscreen with SPF 32. So I only know of this brand because I think we got a few of their goodies in a trend mood box. And I thought that their items were decent. It wasn't like anything that I was like OMG about. But this is SPF. It looks like it's going to be nice. SPF is so important to wear, even though I'm someone who forgets sometimes. But um, this doesn't have necessarily a scent, maybe a little bit of like a Clay Doh scent. Play-Doh scent. I'll toss this out and see what's up. I mean, it is a really teen, teeny tiny size, so I don't even know how long this is gonna last, but if it's only for the face, I don't think I need like tons. So this should last at least, maybe like three uses at least. Moving on to day number five. Here. 
five is up here. We get a small little one. We get a perfume. Now, I feel like with these little ones, it's kind of like, you know, you could have included something more, and of course they could have, but I will tell you, a lot of the times I find my signature scents from these little ones, you know? Um, when Sephora had their Sephora play boxes, this was like one of my favorite things. Like these were my one of my favorite things to get because it's a good way to see like, hey, will I like this, will I not, before committing to a full-size perfume that I have no idea if it smells good or not, you know? This is so good. Ooh. Oh, oh my goodness. This is the new My Way Giorgio Armani perfume. So recently I did a walk with me through Ulta video and I shared this with you guys. It just came out and I was like, oh, I don't know how it smells. And a few of you guys were like, Liara, it smells amazing. So I wanted to go back to smell it. But then I feel like it just landed in my lap and, and now I smell, it smells so good. It's the kind of smell that's definitely very sophisticated, more of like a nighttime scent. Mm strong but not overpowering and not like overdone the kind of scent where when someone passes you and they wear this you're like okay what is that person wearing you know i, I need to know like, like now so i'm ordering this okay i'm ordering the full size i think this whole box is just where they were at okay moving on to day number six number six is right over here okay this i'm also really excited about so this right here is the new Keys Soul Care Skin Transformation Cream, Visage. So I'm thrilled about this one because I believe this is Alicia Keys's, um, Keys's, Alicia Keys skincare line. And with this as well, I always see it at Ulta, but I never, like, the full sizes are not, like, cheap. So I didn't really want to commit to something if I wasn't feeling it or if I wasn't really sure, like, if I'm going to use it or, like, what the story was. So I'm kind of happy that this is included in here because... Now I can kind of see like, will this work out? Will it not? So this is perfect. Again, it has fallen into my laps. We are grateful. We are thankful. Um, it seems like it's a nice white cream. Seem feels great. Very hydrating actually. And it smells like 2009. I don't know. <laughs> it smells, but it smells good. It smells like the olden days or like 10 years ago kind of days. Next we have number seven, which is right over here. Here we have a new matte mascara <laughs> now with this one as well it's like okay girl stop lying no but i'm not so this mascara the magic extension mascara has been super beyond popular i think it was this one by mac this just released within the past few months i think the full size was on sale during the ulta 21 days of beauty event i wanted to get it you know how it is you put stuff in your cart 10 hours later you're like oh yeah i didn't check out and then it's not on sale anymore and I didn't want to pay full price for this. I'm just not gonna. So now that it's included in here, I am so beyond excited. I actually recently organized and cleaned out my um, mascara drawer. So I'm thrilled to have this in my life. The wand seems great. It kind of reminds me of like the um, Essence wand, the Essence Lash Princess. Of course, the Essence one's five bucks and it's my favorite thing ever, but... I mean, if this performed as well as that, then it might be a winner. It has a natural bristled one, and it's also long, so I feel like if you have bigger eyes, this could really cope a lot. I'm happy about this one. Okay, I'm really happy about that. Okay, moving on to number eight, which is on this side. Here we have... Why is this box totally speaking my language? It's like, they knew my nails were falling off. My, my, my powder nails, not my real nails. So this is the Impress Color Press On Manicure. I actually like this size because it's short it's not too long and as much as i love the look of long nails on myself and on others like i love it i just have a very hard time using my fingers my hands regularly if i have such long nails i've never tried anything like this it's from the kiss brand which i love their lash glue so maybe this is nice i heard good things about this too like the impressed nail line you don't even need any glue with this it's just like a sticker like a sticky on the back of the nail and you just like stick it on your fingers and then you're good to go and it should last a decent amount of time okay moving on to number nine nine is on this side hey i think this is a full size kitty this is the biosource chip free nail lacquer this is a gorgeous green from the nolitopia brand i've never heard of this brand the color is gorgeous. I actually can't wait to get these like nails off because they're annoying me already. It's been a while. But also, um, I just want to put on different polishes. I love switching my nails every week. That's typically how often I do it. Um, and I just, I, I love the excitement of it, you know? So I'm going to probably use this one for like next time I go because I love the color. It's perfect for fall. And I've never tried anything from this brand. So hopefully it's a winner. Moving on to number 10. 10. 
Okay, in here we basically get, I think, a full-size goodie. Wow. This is really cool. This is the Beekman Goat Milk Body Soap. How awesome does that sound? Like, it's a legit body soap. Yeah, it's a full-size, 9 ounces, gorgeous packaging. I don't really ever use, like, actual bars of soap. Like, I don't remember the last time I used a bar of soap. 1998. <laughs> We're throwing it back years here. So, basically... It smells nice. It has like it says goat milk body soap. It smells like goat milk. Um, a natural bar of soap formulated with goat milk to match the pH of your skin and leave skin feeling clean and hydrated. Sulfate free, paraben free, fragrance free ish. You know, it smells like goat milk. Um, <laughs> um, talc free, and, and the packaging is really cool. So I think that always adds. Like packaging needs to be nice. Okay, number eleven is here. This right here is a 24-7 moisture hydrating day and night cream. I don't know if I've used this. It's possible that I did. It says it has a light and whipped formula to it. I've tried a decent amount of their skincare goodies though. And they're really nice. Very lightweight on the skin in general. Um, not irritating. They sink in really quickly. This is delicious on. And I love the smell of their goods as well. They're, it's like lightly scented. But I, I like when skincare hair is like lightly scented because I like when there's a vibe to it a bit. It doesn't have to be overly, but just drop, you know? And this this is awesome. If you've never tried it, I think you'll love it. Oh, I think you'll love it. Uh, number 12 is over here. And actually, I'm really excited about this because I saw it on the outer packaging. And I'm like, this looks exciting. So this is a full size. We get some full size and some deluxe size goodies in here. And this is the... Lowly Date Not Brulee Nourishing Miracle Balm. It looks like it comes like in a little jelly jar, you know, those like jars of jelly. It smells like a candle. It feels great. Like it looks green in the actual container, but it actually swatches clear. And it's very delicious and moisturizing. I'm not crazy about the scent though, I'm not gonna lie. But very thin very nice i didn't even know this band existed so yay <laughs> so that is pretty much it in regards to the 12 goods that was included in that were included in the ulta beauty advent calendar so again with all of these goods you could purchase the full sizes on ulta site if um, any of them interest you i definitely feel like of course this was more of like a skincare slash yeah mainly like skincare not necessarily a makeup advent calendar so like i mentioned before hopefully they release another one that's like actually makeup makeup i think that would be exciting but i'm still really really happy about this one looks like a shoebox right <laughs> because there were actually a few goodies in here that i've never even heard of but i know that they're sold on ulta site so you know it's a, like a good solid legit ish brand and i feel like it's just a good way to venture out to you know to find brands that just we've never really heard of like this like lip balm i didn't like i would never purchase that. i didn't even know it existed goat milk soap a bar of soap we'll take it i love makeup i love you guys know but there is still something about finding other goods that are not necessarily makeup per se that you just love and enjoy and adore, you know? So I'm happy with this one. I think for 30 bucks, it's decently priced. Um, I think Ulta also has always like the 350 off any order pretty much. So you can get this for even a bit cheaper. If you have points ranked up, you can maybe even get this for free if you think about it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I would love to know your feedback. I would love to know your thoughts on this box. Definitely stay tuned for future advent calendars. If you guys are not subscribed, I would love to, for you to be a part of this. But yes, I will speak to you guys in the comments below. And again, I hope you enjoyed. Bye.